complete I started thinking on how to film it and the main reason of this tutorial is to try to prevent you from making terrifying mistakes when finally you will film your villages and please believe me when I say that on YouTube there is a great number of videos depicting Christmas villages that simply needed to be erased due to a bad, absolutely bad, filming technique. I know this tutorial will offend countless people, but I'm not imposing anything. I'm simply emphasizing on something that is obviously clearly wrong. Please also remember that we all possess a peripheral uh, vision that help us get easily every details, even if it is moving quickly. But when filming with a camera, a lot of angle is lost, preventing us to assimilate the entire layout and all the details if you move too quickly when you start filming your village. Here I am again. All along this short tutorial, at least for my standards, I will try to point out all the errors, all the mistakes, you need to avoid in order to film correctly your Christmas village. I will surely not uh, tell you you have to do this, you have to do that, because I'm not here for that reason. You are the only one uh, that can judge what is better for your Christmas village, what is better for the filming of your Christmas village. I'm just here to uh, help you identify the um, tremendous mistakes I've seen many many times around YouTube concerning uh, Christmas Village on videos. So uh, let's start with uh, uh, all you need to avoid. First thing, first example you need to avoid at any cost. I've seen many times some types of video make like this. This is not a video. This is a PowerPoint slide. This is a diaporama, not a, a video. I hate this kind of presentation. Uh, let's have a second example more realistic. Let's think that I've started by showing you uh, this detail then after some time this detail and finally this other detail completely nonsense senseless if instead i've been a little smarter with this uh, sample let me uh, start by showing you the total of the scene this is the entire scene i want to show you you can appreciate everything then I will go straight to the details. This is smarter. First details, because the scene was gigantic. Second details, and now you can appreciate it better than the third detail. And uh, once again, uh, the total scene. And by the way, this is uh, the painting Marriage at Cana, painted by Paolo Veronese in 1563 and it is actually exposed at the Louvre Musée in Paris. It is a large, a gigantic painting, 6.62 meters by 9.94 meters, or 22 feet in 8 and 32 feet in uh, length. Gigantic painting, very beautiful, very astonishing painting. Uh, and very realistic uh, and everything else but as you have seen showing you before the total then every and each single details is much much more uh, better you need to do the same thing with your uh, village first show the entire scene in order to appreciate everything then you can go with each and single details this is the only way if you want to use this technique that I absolutely hate. 
then let's go with the third example that you need to avoid at any cost. This is a video and okay, it's a winter village. Let's go with some snow. No, off we. The same scene without snow applied in post production in editing is much, much more better. Then, some good advice for you. Advice number one don't go too quick with your camera. I've tried to go very quickly in detailing this sequence and you can see that it's almost disgusting how it is filmed too quick. The eye can get it in real life but with a camera you can't go this quick. You will ruin everything and you make sick everyone. You get very very sick if you continue going this uh, quick showing everything around so please avoid doing uh, the videos uh, this quick I've seen plenty of time this happening second uh, good advice uh, what you need to use to film professional cameras DSLR cameras compact cameras smartphones whatever you want three third good advice how to film you can film hands free with a selfie stick with a tripod with a stabilizer with a gimbal with a camera uh, dolly I will get in with to the camera dolly in just some minutes but for good advice be as stable as possible here I have an example uh, with the camera hands free and I've tried to do the exact same scenes multiple times I'm going the right uh, speed in order to let you appreciate everything let's go with some more details I've uh, reached the, the back of, uh, of the house and now I will get around again more um, some more uh, details here is the house and even if I'm using the camera hands free it's acceptable it is acceptable then I've used a selfie stick and this is an example using a selfie stick um, less complicated to do it because you can use one hand and uh, reach some better level with this selfie stick and some more uh, um, very very near uh, details and then some sort of pan and zoom and here we have the same candy shop I've shown you before and free now I will uh, uh, go in the opposite way in some sort of uh, plane I just uh, rolled it to the right as I was a plane an airplane uh, and then up the stairs with the selfie uh, stick and this is not too bad uh, not too stable anyway this is the scene I've made using a, a, a flexible tripod a octopus tripod flexible tripod even more stable than with a, a selfie stick I can reach every uh, single part of the layout and it is uh, very detailed, v very stable. It was the first time uh, I was filming something using a, a flexible tripod and it is uh, very stable. Here we go again, always with a, s a single end. I was uh, uh, handling it with a single end. And right side. And the point of view of the camera was uh, fixed at a, at a certain uh, distance from the lens so uh, in order to get uh, some depth of view uh, up again up the stairs again in order to have the exact same uh, thing I've shown you before and this is done with the camera uh, dolly forward going forward I will try to explain the camera dolly in just some minutes then you see that the camera is very stable this is backwards and the camera absolutely stable 
the details you can watch it obviously I'm not at the same distance I've done it uh, on purpose and this is uh, the opposite view from the same uh, distance because you need to go from one side and then using the opposite view to get everything you uh, want to show and this is backward from uh, an opposite uh, view Hi guys, I will try to explain as simply as possible the principle behind a camera dolly. A camera dolly is nothing else than a rail on top of which you fix your camera and it helps the camera to slide very straight and very stable along a path. It is commonly used in the movie industry to get the perfect shot. Obviously on every marketplace you find camera dollies. Some are more expensive, some are less expensive. It all depends if they are motorized or not. And you already know that if I can build myself something for my village I'll try to build it using salvage materials. So, I haven't bought a camera dolly, I've made my camera dolly. Uh, I think I've made it uh, three years ago, if I'm correct. Yes, I think it is correct. And I will try to present it to you very quickly at first then I will try to get in more details. So here we go, here is my camera dolly. The main structure is nothing else than a couple of copper pipes. The same copper pipes used by plumbers everywhere in the world. I just needed to maintain the two pipes at the same distance all along the entire path. Let's have a quick look from left to sorry from right to left. Starting from the right side, here we have some brackets that maintain the camera dolly connected or um, supported by two um, camera tripods one from each side obviously then I have uh, some uh, pull lace here, some timing belt, I will explain everything in just a few moments, sorry then the main uh, support for uh, the uh, camera and from this side, from the left side we have the power unit the first year I made my camera dolly, it wasn't motorized at all, so I had to move uh, by hand the um, carriage uh, from left to right or from uh, right to left. And the second year I decided to motorize it. I'm crazy, I know. How uh, the two uh, pipes are fixed together and how are they maintained at the same distance? They are at 8 centimeters apart from each other. I've used some MDF wood that I've cut, then I've drilled some holes into the pipes and with some screw I fixed the pipes to the MDF wood. I have one piece in the middle and one piece from each side of the uh, dolly. Here we go, here we have the other one. And uh, as from the right side, I have it fixed to a uh, camera tripod. So, the first year, the first year I placed my camera on top. Uh, uh, of this main unit here and the unit is sliding all along the uh, rail using some uh, pulleys I have some pulleys, let's try 
to show you the pulleys. I think I can show you the pulleys. I don't know. No, bad choice. You can't see them. Uh, <coughs> they are ah maybe here. Yes, maybe with these. Yeah, we you can appreciate the pulleys. We have four pulleys there that will uh, <coughs> that will allow the <coughs> main support to slide all along uh, the um, all along the rail. Uh, now, obviously, <laughs> uh, they are a, a little blocked due, due to the fact that I have a timing belt here. I will explain it in just a few seconds. So the camera, the first year was placed here, and you can, <coughs> or you can move it all around. It is uh, very flexible, and uh, which every angle you want, obviously. And then with the camera placed here, I slide by end the uh, main support all along the rail. It was an, <laughs> it was L the first year and movements were not as stable as you can imagine. You have just seen uh, a couple of scenes that I've shot using this camera uh, dolly just some minutes ago, and they are very stable. <clears throat> so the second year I decided to motorize it. I didn't know how to do it, so I think about it. I knew that uh, on the market uh, um, stepper motors like this one, this one is a 17 NEMA stepper motor, existed uh, in order to have uh, um, 3D printers motorized. And I've used the same components as uh, for the uh, 3D printer. Instead of having three stepper motors, one for, e for X movement, one for uh, Y movement, and one for Z movement, I just used one stepper motor for X movement. X, X, sorry, movement. Then I have two pulleys, one connected to this stepper motor, and one connected to the support brackets to the other side here. Then I have this timing belt, the same exact timing belt used in 3D printers, and it is connected and fixed here, very uh, stable, to the main support. So each time the motor uh, makes the timing belt move, it uh, engages the movement of the support itself, this way. This was uh, a good solution, not the perfect solution, I know, because everything I made isn't as uh, good as I wanted it to be, but it is very, very, very functional. Obviously, I need to control the motor, I need to control the stepper motor down there. I had to uh, attach the motor. Here we go with the with the cable. It is a serial cable, not in more than a serial cable. Uh, the same used in old PCs, computers, and this is the main um, the main brain of it. I will try to show you the inside, but it, it is very delicate. I made it. Uh, uh, very roughly when I did it. I never updated, upgraded it. So let's try to show you what it is, what I have inside it. The main brain is a micro Arduino. It is very commonly used for any type of application all around the net. You will find uh, many, many applications uh, using uh, mm, Arduino and uh, I will not explain what is used Arduino for, but I use it to send information to the stepper motor in order to get it slide correctly. All along the path I need it uh, to start from a certain point, stop at another point, forward and backward. Then I have an AC power unit to 
power up the Arduino unit. It is uh, salvaged from my first Toshiba uh, laptop. I've uh, uh, always salvaged everything. This is from my first Toshiba laptop. Then I have uh, some, uh, some PCB board down there with uh, some connections, some resistors, some other pieces. I'm not here to show you exactly how to do it, how to build it, maybe in the future if uh, you uh, would like to uh, have a precise and detailed uh, tutorial on how to build it and <laughs> it will be a long tutorial. Then I have some USB cable uh, deployed inside it because I need uh, to program Arduino without having to open each time this box. So I have the serial port here that I will use to connect to the stepper motor and this USB port here in order to program the Arduino unit and from the other side power uh, plug how it is uh, uh, how I use it I've decided to use it uh, uh, with a combination of uh, one two three four uh, electrical switches I'm sorry I know it's not completely in English I've also used some Italian here but on is clearly then uh, down is off up is on the main power here on up off down with a combination of uh, those uh, four uh, switches I can go forward in 30 seconds backward in 30 seconds forward in 40 seconds backward in 40 seconds forward in 50 seconds backward in 50 seconds and so on uh, 60 seconds then I can also go quicker 50 seconds forward and backward and 10 seconds forward and backward this is the main um, principle behind my uh, camera uh, dolly obviously this is a stepper motor as uh, uh, slow as it goes as high are the vibrations it makes so I also added a uh, uh, motor damper between the main support and the stepper motor in order to reduce the vibrations that will have caused the camera here to vibrate this way or this way and I will surely not uh, have, uh, have got a perfect stable um, videos but you have just seen that it's correctly done. Uh, too quick, I know, but let me show you how it works very quickly. Let me just uh, close my uh, little box here. Sorry, but I need it stable I don't want to uh, damage the Arduino and the, cab the cables inside because the Arduino is very 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 delicate it will take nothing to damage it and I will have to replace it obviously I always have a spare Arduino with me because I don't know when or if it will uh, broke or not so let me just uh, go to the left side to the far side then i will try to connect here my serial uh, port there okay let's have the rail uh, having some distance from the styrofoam there we go now let's power the main brain unit let's go from this point to the opposite point in 30 in uh, 30 seconds okay so 30 seconds on off 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 on 
off, off, off. Let's go. And voila, the main camera here will slide perfectly straight uh, down to the other uh, side of the rail. And it will stop as soon as possible, it will reach the, the end point. I have no switches here to, uh, to stop it, it's just uh, the calculation programmed inside the Arduino. Voila! It has stopped right here, right at the end of the rail. And this is how I film everything using my camera dolly. Let's have it back in 10 seconds, so forward, 10 seconds, off, on, 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 off, on, on, on. Let's have it back and you will have it here in 10 seconds. Here it comes and it will stop there. Stop it, power off, all in off mode. Uh, you, I will try to do uh, mo uh, some more um, experiment. As uh, slow as it goes, as much vibration it produces. Let's try to go um, forward in 60 seconds. On, 60 seconds, off, off, on, off, off, on, let's go. I think you already can hear the vibrations. This is too slow for a camera dolly because the stepper motor isn't suited for such slow um, speed. But uh, it can also uh, work at this slow speed. It will take 60 seconds to uh, go from left side to the right side. And uh, by the way, the path is around uh, two meters, around uh, six foot, six feet, sorry. Stop. Go. Okay. Now, the vibrations were very, 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 um, uh, very, very loud. So now let's try off, off, off. And let's try to have it back in uh, 10 seconds. I will try to go as fast as possible toward it in order to let you hear uh, the uh, sound. Uh, back, uh, off, on, 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 off, on, on, on. You, are you hearing? No more vibration. This is a characteristic for a stepper motor. As quick as it goes, as less vibration it makes. And this is how I generally place. Obviously, this um, the uh, camera dolly can also be uh, used upside down for um, some good uh, shots. With the camera upside down, for example, I can go between all the buildings here. I can reach a very deep distance here, maybe, and I can go practically uh, at the same level of the ground with my uh, camera. I've used this technique a couple of times in past. I know I haven't been too precise, I know my English is so bad, but let's hope you have understood everything clearly. And um, that's all I think. The copper, obviously, the pipe cop, the um, copper pipes, obviously, now are somehow um, uh, damaged by <laughs> weather because I haven't protected them with some kind of a painting of protecting painting and uh, uh, copper oxidate generally, and it uh, it tends to get uh, very very. Uh, green, but I use uh, I use it uh, essentially inside, <laughs> inside and never outside, so it hasn't been attacked by uh, uh, weather yet by humidity. Uh, otherwise, in three years, those uh, pipes would have been completely uh, green from oxidation. And that's all, really all. 
sorry if I'm being too long. Uh, bye.